So thank you for that wonderful summation of what to do. Um, so here are things that um, maybe you should try to avoid doing. Um, some things that I'm, I, I'm especially sure many of you that have been teaching or in, in the academic community for a while maybe have seen some of these things. Um, so uh, a common pitfall to avoid the first thing, um, lack of clarity. So uh, for example, in the proposal, the paragraphs are, are long or vague and are you know, running on. Uh, do your best, I mean, especially in just three to five pages to be concise, clear, and get straight to the point with your writing. Um, tell us what you want to do um, and how you're going to do it. Uh, another common pitfall is having weak support. Um, so it, you have an argument, but there's an, not a lot of justification or evidence behind what you're saying. Um, so to avoid this, we suggest to provide a very thorough literature review to show that you really investigated this topic um, to see what kinds of research is already out there. Now, we don't expect everyone to be absolute experts in child labor, forced labor, human trafficking. That's why we have the these seed grants and fellowships, but um, uh, just, just a demonstration that you have started to investigate the literature is fine. Uh, another common pitfall is poor planning. Uh, so, I, I mean, generally, just not having an idea uh, or a sense of how long this is going to take uh, and what the tools you need to achieve it, which, I mean, I think uh, Lorenzo laying out all of the steps to uh, providing a good plan uh, should, should be helpful to avoid this. Uh, next slide, please. Thank you. Uh, more common pitfalls. Um, so sometimes uh, you'll see in research proposals that the concept or methodology aren't very well elaborated. They aren't clear or laid out. Um, so we, we suggest to avoid this, um, really show clearly in, in sections, you know, this is how I want to investigate this thing. Um, and so we can really review this easily and see exactly what your plan is um, and see that you know um, sort of your main research question and, and what you're going to do. Uh, another pitfall, uh, some proposals are not very well structured or formatted. Um, so, I mean, it's a simple way to avoid this, follow these guidelines, um, you, use the present, this our presentation um, and the laid out steps. And it should really help you structure and format uh, a really nice proposal to see the what, where, and how of what you're doing. And then finally, the communi communication and dissemination plan isn't well thought out. Yeah, it's just to say, I mean, again, this is a, this is a short proposal that we're asking for, um, but yeah, having this budget and timeline is so important. So it, it's clear that this research will be able to be conducted and completed in the time frame given. So I think um, those are the main steps. So I think I'm handing to Lorraine now. <laughs>